Welcome to Sanford Flip Math. This is uh, Algebra 2 uh, Springboard. We are working through the Springboard curriculum. We are currently in Section 5.3, which is about composition of functions. Uh, Section 5.2 dealt with the, uh, really the ideas, the overall uh, understanding of what composition is, and we did not do a video for that. Uh, we we're really going to talk about the mechanics of doing composition. And we'll review a, a tiny bit about the idea of it, but the whole idea comes in with uh, basically putting a function inside of a function. And part of the issue, uh, well, one of the issues is you need to be aware of this notation. Uh, this notation means f of g of x. That means we're going to put g of x inside of f. I want to make a distinction between that notation and this notation, and they look very, very, very similar. But this, this dot is filled in, and when the dot is filled in, that means, whoop, sorry, that means that we're going to multiply. We're going to do f of x times g of x. We are just going to multiply. So the thing that looks like multiplication is multiplication. The thing that looks like a tiny little circle that's not filled in is composition, which means f of g. So some people read it that way, um, f of, like that little o means of g. And, and that could be the source of that notation. I really don't know, but that's, that's the idea. So again, the idea is we're going to put f of g on the inside of f of x. Just a quick little note, the whole idea is that you start out by doing some kind of a, a process, and that little process would be g of x, and then the, the output of that then goes into a new little process, and this is kind of how the your book illustrates it, and I've been actually illustrating like this for a long time, uh, f of x. So the answer from g of x goes directly into f of x, and what happens is we end up packaging this like one big machine that does all of it in one shot, and so you don't even see what happens on the inside, it's just in a big box. And we put x values in here, and out of the bottom comes uh, some answer. All right, so that's that's kind of an, a 5.2 recap for those of you following along at home. All right, so what we're gonna do is some f of g of x, we're gonna just do some, some algebra kind of stuff here, okay? So for instance, let's do uh, f, composed with g, or f of g of x, and again, as we said, this means f of g of x. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take this outer function, f of x, and I'm going to write down what it is, okay? So f of x says x squared, now you're going to get mad at me if you're writing right now because I'm going to kind of rewrite some of this. Because notice how I'm spacing this out. It says x squared minus 3x. Well, instead of writing the x's, what I'm going to do is write some parentheses, okay? So it said x squared minus 3x. Now, what I'm trying to do is actually show that the, f, that the x is going to be replaced with whatever is going on inside of g of x. Okay, so since g of x goes on the inside, what we're going to do is grab g of x, and put it on the inside. And in effect, we are done. Now, the only issue here is can we simplify this? Now, this takes a little bit of work to simplify, kind of like some of the stuff that uh, I did in the last video in, in 5.1, uh, talking about uh, like multiplication. We're going to do a little bit of multiplying. I am going to go ahead and simplify this, but the main focus of what we're doing right now is just putting one function inside of another. Okay, so let me let me go ahead and do what has to happen here. Remember that squared really means times itself. That's not this anymore, sorry. Uh, 4 minus x, there we go. And so what we're going to do is we're going to do some multiplying, and everything in here has to multiply everything in here. And you, remember, you might remember that the acronym for that for a lot of people is FOIL. A lot of people don't like the FOIL, but... That's okay. Uh, so we're going to multiply the 4 times both the 4 and the minus x, so 16 and minus 4x. Now, if you're following FOIL, the 4 times 4 was the first. Outer was, was this guy right here, the 4 times negative x. Inner will be the negative x times 4. 
and then last will be negative x times negative x. Okay, while I'm on my little roll here, I'm going to go ahead and distribute the negative 3. Okay, and if there are some like terms to combine, like negative 4x, negative 4x, and positive 3x, so that's going to be a minus 5x. Uh, 16 doesn't have a like term, I'm going to leave it there, plus x squared, I think that's it. No, 16 did have a like term. Oh, thank you for saying that. I appreciate that. I heard you. I heard you. So 16 minus 12 was 4. Okay. So let's just double check. 16 minus 12, 4. Good. Uh, negative 4x and negative 4x is negative 8x plus 3x is negative 5x plus x squared. This is done. Uh, some people would rather write this in this order, and that works. Okay. Now. If any of that didn't make sense, hit pause, stare at it for a while, back up, watch it again. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do next, you know, just a second ago, we did f of g of x. Well, I'm going to do g of f of x. Okay. Also, know, uh, a lot of people will just write g of f like that. It means the same thing. So, again, we're doing g of f of x. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do with this is I'm going to rewrite the outer function, okay? So the outer function is the g of, and I'm going to rewrite it. So here it is, 4 minus x. So I'm going to write 4 minus x. Now, why didn't I write x? Well, I'm going to replace x. Oh, what did I just do? Oh. My knuckle hit the, the toolbar and started an explorer. Sorry about that. All right, that'll be fun in the video. Okay, so where was I? I was looking at uh, g of f inside was f of x, and instead of writing x, we wrote a place to put whatever is going on the inside. So f of x is going on the inside. Well, here it comes. So x squared minus 3x. Okay, so now the only thing to really simplify here is I have a, a minus a quantity, so I can uh, distribute that little negative guy there. So 4 minus x squared plus 3x. And this can be done now, and I think we've mentioned it already, that a lot of people like to have the x squared first. I am actually one of them, but it's, it's really the same thing, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, this is the answer for g of f. Now, let me make a big stink. This to me is a big deal. When you put a function inside of a function, that's called composition. So this is composition of functions. So the question is, is or is not, that's my question, commutative? Now, this always comes up in these kind of topics. Commutative, if you recall, means if something is commutative, that means order doesn't matter. If it is commutative, that means order doesn't matter. That means if I switch the order, I get the same thing. Is that true for composition of functions? Well, we just did f of g of x. And we got this. Then we did g of f of x. And we got this. Are these the same thing? There you go. Composition of functions is not commutative. Okay, I would like to do maybe one or two more examples. We'll see how time goes of composition of functions. Okay, so here we go. Let's do um, let's do h of j. Okay, h of j means h of j of x. Now, what I would suggest, this is, a, this is the perfect time now that you've seen a couple examples, to, to hit pause, and you do this on your own. And then, once you're done, come back and see, you know, either fast forward to the end of the example, or just let me play it out, or whatever. See if you got the same thing, okay? All right, so hit pause. Okay, so what we're going to do is grab h of x, and we're going to say x plus 3 over 4. I'm going to highly, highly recommend you write it like that first and then go back and grab whatever j of x is. Now, this j of x is 4x minus 3. 
fill it in. So we are filling in on the inside. We are replacing X. Okay. Well, let's do a little simplifying here. Those parentheses now aren't really doing anything. They were just helping me. So this becomes 4X minus 3 plus 3. That's just going to be 4X. So 4X over 4. Well, 4X divided by 4 is X. Sweet. That's it. Okay. I hope that went well. Let's do one more. That one went so quickly. Okay. So let's do uh, G of J. I have even seen this notation written like this. I, I don't, This is like my least favorite version of that notation, but it does happen. And note that is a an open circle. Okay, let me. I'm going to make it a little more obvious. So g of j of x. Okay. So this is the same thing as g of j of x. Okay. So I'm going to follow g. Okay. So here's g, and I'm going to do four minus x. Four minus x. Okay, so what goes inside? J goes on the inside. So here's J, 4X minus 3. Okay, and this is G of J of X. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of simplifying. Uh, really all we're going to do is distribute the negative and then some, like, term combining. Okay, now stare at the, stare at the plus sign and tell, tell yourself why is that a plus. Okay, that's, that's the big issue that people make mistakes on. Okay, 4 plus 3 is 7, minus 4x. If you'd prefer, negative 4x plus 7. Okay, and we're done. All right, so composition of functions is basically dropping a function inside another function. That's really all it is. Uh, there are reasons for doing that. You know, if you're always going to take the answer from one equation and put it into the next, then that's, that's composition of functions. Okay. All right, so we're going to leave it at that, and thank you for watching. This is Sanford Flip Math. Bye.